Hi, my name is Shay, and on my channel, I do fitness challenges, fitness program reviews, fun what I eat in a week videos. Recently on my channel, I announced that I make the decision to get a personal trainer. That guy. No, not that guy. That guy. That guy health, aka Jarek, is currently implementing my training program. In this video, I'll be showing you how the workouts are going, what I ate, my award meals, and just some updates on my day-to-day -day life, some vlog footage. There's a lot of important things I want to talk about, so let's get into it. All right, let's catch up on a few things. First of all, hello. Hope you're having an amazing day. Last update video, you would have seen that I recently moved. So in between packing, adjusting back to work, dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety, my diet has not been the greatest and I fell off track for a bit. If you'd like to see what I ate during the last few weeks leading up to the most stressful time in my life, click the link above and then cut back and watch this video, pretty please. <laughs> it is now the month of July and I was ready to get back into the swing of things. Along with personal training with Jarek, I took on a few challenges for the month of July. I was really excited when a fellow YouTuber, Derek's Journey, announced he was doing another step challenge for July. Take these steps away from these teams. <laughs> This time, there was around 40 people joining us in this challenge. That was so exciting. I like to look at things on the positive side. So even though life was hectic and I had just moved, I took on the steps challenge and I took it as an opportunity to explore my new neighborhood. I decided I was gonna set a goal for 20K plus steps a day. I found a beautiful path, a little walk from my plays, and it was just so peaceful. This is just so beautiful. It really helped with my anxiety. It was about an hour and a half to longer walk, so that's pretty good. There is so much calmness in just taking a really long walk and just being able to think and just clear your head. I could think of like content ideas, I could clear my anxiety, clear my mind. It was so calm. Along with that challenge, I took on Kirsten Quick Fit's 30 day lean arm challenge. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just celebrating over here because the July upper body challenge. I am so excited, you guys. She does these five minute videos every day to work your upper body and they are the perfect video and challenge for my very busy schedule. As for meals, Jared gave me a meal plan that outlined my macros. He gave suggestions for what I could eat. And while I took some of the suggestions, I also substituted in things that I liked to eat. This made meal prep and groceries so freaking easy and cheap, holy crap. Now, every night before bed, I just weigh out and cook my meals to prep for the next day. I enter into to my fitness pal and this just had made my nutrition so easy i was eating healthy seeing results and i felt great okay now that you're all caught up let's get into my workouts for the week of july so for the first week of july jerry had implemented a band resistance band training protocol hello you guys are in my new place i know it's a bit messy it's not set up right now but it is 8 p.m right now i just did i busted i just busted let's see how many steps i got I just busted 25 steps walking and I just did a full day of work. Okay, I'm hungry. I want to eat dinner. 8, 11 p.m. And I have a beginner upper band workout. So Jarek had me get these bands. So this is the light resistance and it says it's 40 to 50 pounds of resistance. So I figured if it's not, challenge. <sighs> Man, that's the one thing that sucks about living in the city is that it's so freaking loud. I live right next to a major road and the first night here i could not sleep because it was so freaking loud so i gotta close my window so i'm sorry if that sounded dry but i ain't gonna record it again because i'm hungry i want to work i want to get this workout out. so today we have a beginner upper body workout with a band and it's actually really funny because i'm wearing the same shoes the girl's wearing in the video she got a fresh pair of nikes on i got the same ones okay so let's get this workout in because I'm tired. <laughs> Get in there. Get on my foot. Okay. I don't know if I can do this with this band. Okay. Oh my god, it's so full. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Either my legs are too long or my band is too tight. I can't even extend my hand. So this is really cool because instead of weights, you can just use resistance bands. And wow, there are so many different ways to increase resistance. You could twist it, you can how you step differently, blah, blah, blah. So I got these bands, $12 at Walmart. Honestly, really good investment. I really encourage you to get some if you are looking. I still feel sore from that last one. <laughs> 
for a challenge. Bands is the great way to add resistance. I can't find my weights because we just moved. So this is kind of like a, a wrench in my plan, no. <laughs> anyway, so the first month of personal training had gone by and I was feeling good. Jarek was saying he was really proud of my progress and seeing how far I've come. Surprisingly, he said most people quit after the 30 days, but we ain't quitters over here. So I was really starting to see results. My pants were fitting looser. I was being active every day, even on my rest days. I finally had a meal plan that was sustainable and easy. In my last video, I was telling you guys about how I was worried about my blood sugar levels and I wanted to give you an update on that. So as of today, July 11th, I booked an appointment to see a doctor tomorrow and I'm gonna get some blood work done and hopefully get some answers. But I just wanna clarify something because I was getting a lot of comments about this on the last video. So just to be clear, my trainer wasn't the reason I was having blood sugar issues. I've actually had this for years. It's just come up again for some reason. So I know I've said in the last video that I thought because I was being so restricted that this could be the reason. And I shouldn't have said that because because that was pretty judgmental, that, that I should not have said that. That was last month. As of now in July, I've had many discussions with Jarek about my diet. We actually do weekly check-ins. We've discussed my blood sugar levels and nutrition, and he's been nothing but supportive and willing to change my calories and macros to resolve the yeah. issue. Okay, so I can't keep, put it around my foot, but I put it around my knee, and that seems to work. Because it's an upper body workout, and I was feeling it in my hamstrings and my booty. Y'all yeah, excuse the boxes. You know, it's kind of messy up in here. This isn't on him. I went into this training program. I didn't even tell him that I had blood sugar issues or an eating disorder. That was on me. That was my bad. I don't want you to blame Jarek and think, oh, he's just a bad person. No. That's not the case. So the reason the last video I was having blood sugar issues is because instead of following the meal plan he made for me, I was trying to fit in foods I normally eat into the macros he gave me, which of course wasn't working. So this caused me to get frustrated and start cutting out things. Example, I no longer ate grapes at night because it was high in carbs. I didn't eat ice cream or desserts. I didn't have rice, no bread. Instead, I made substitutions for healthier options. The days I felt sick was because I was cutting things out of my diet that I shouldn't have been cutting out. <laughs> that was my mistake, that was my bad. This was in no way Jarek's fault at all and not due to his meal plan. I don't want you guys to think that. So for the month of July, I decided to just follow his meal plan and make any additions or substitutions as it is necessary. Day one of Kirsten Quick Fit's Lean Arm 30 Day Upper Body Challenge. I'm sitting here and I'm so tired and I just wanted to quit and not do anything and just shower and go to bed because I've already done my literally hour and a half walk. I've done my workout for the day. She's got me hooked because it's only five minutes. This video is four minutes and 37 seconds. Challenge. I'm so excited. <laughs> so 10 of each exercises. I think I can do this. I can do this. I got this. Come on. Come on. She's giving us options. It was working for me. I felt satiated. I was drinking a gallon of water a day and that really helped with my appetite. But I was still having issues with my blood sugar. That is why I made the decision to go see a doctor instead of self-diagnosing. I want to make sure the issue is actually my blood sugar and not something else. So until I get my results, we won't have any answers. But I'm going to keep you updated. Oh, wait, wait. One now, more, one more. The next thing we're going to do, I actually am going to get Oh, wow. Yeah. I was also getting some comments saying that I shouldn't call myself an intuitive eater because I'm on a restrictive diet. I'm still an intuitive eater, even though I'm on a meal plan and I prep my meals. I still listen to my body and I eat when I'm hungry and I don't when I'm not. That's what intuitive eating means to me personally, the practice of listening to your body. I still consider myself an intuitive eater, but I made a decision to better myself and follow a meal plan to hit my goals. I was reading some of the comments and honestly, I was just getting so discouraged. And I know that with growth here on YouTube, it comes with more negative comments and haters per se, but like, I can't lie and say it didn't get to me. Originally, I made my YouTube channel to document my fitness journey and hopefully inspire others. Anything I share on my channel is from my experience and what has or is working for me. That's why you don't see any how-to types of videos because I'm not qualified to give you that information. I noticed the moment I switched from posting about intuitive eating to posting about calorie counting and that I got a personal trainer, I was getting a lot of comments on people telling me what to do or putting in their opinions. And while I welcome those giving advice and I really appreciate it, while I was reading through those comments, I can't lie and say that I wasn't getting down and really feeling discouraged. I felt shitty, not gonna lie to you. I had someone comment on a video from March and it was a week of workouts and I explained in that video that I couldn't record all my workouts because the gym was busy, but this person went and just tore me to shreds. They came for my workout splits, my workouts. They were telling me I'm not working at all muscle groups and I was just trying to get a big butt for no reason. 
um this was all from one video from march we're in july okay so i just responded politely that i didn't have enough time to film and at that point we weren't getting appointments at the gym that one video wasn't a representation of my workout split but if they had watched something more recent i definitely work all parts of my body <laughs> hello okay yeah we outside who this who this we outside okay so today we got sprints because my last video you know i was giving some constructive criticism i should have just kept my mouth shut but i was telling jared that the sprints that he had done so on his app you can't see my stream <laughs> so in his app he pretty much had sprinting and then you would have to press this button to give yourself a break and i told him i was cheating myself so i was like i would like a follow along format like a video or maybe like an audio cue so he revamped it so he called me last night. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. It's so hot outside. So we had a call last night and he's just like, thanks for the criticism. I revamped it. So guess what? You get to try it out tomorrow. I was like, oh man, come on. I should've just kept my mouth shut, damn it. But today we got sprints. It says 10 minutes and I'm gonna show you the like, layout I got here, but pretty much there's a path and like nobody's walking here. So I'm just gonna sprint back and forth and let's start it. Shake that body out and let's get moving. First up, you can't see my static screen, back flexion stretch. So we got some stretches seconds. first. Let's get into position. We'll start in three, two, one. On a more positive note, the workouts have been going amazing. Good news, my gyms are opening up next Friday, and Jarek said he could switch my training protocol over into a gym focused training, which is amazing. Oh, and there's a timer. Static quadriceps stretch. Left side for 15 seconds. I'm losing weight and for once in a long time, it actually seems sustainable. This is why I don't do fad diets because I need something sustainable, long term. Okay, that I see myself continuing for long term. For 60 okay, we got walking for, walk, walking for six seconds, I'll be right back. So this is the path that I have to run on and it's like, it's just, you're just ready for three seconds, so I don't need a long, that long of a pathway. But let's go, I'll set you up over there, y'all can see me run. Next up, sprint. We'll start in three, two, one. Otherwise, I'll just lose the weight, struggle to keep the weight off, and then gain it all back, if not more. As I said in the beginning, I've been meal prepping every night before bed. I found meals that work, and since I eat pretty much the same thing every day, it's so easy to transfer everything over into my fitness pal. I just copy and paste onto the next day. I've always felt like I was just a little bit away from my body goals, and I'm so glad I made the decision. Man, this man really making me order my sushi, man. To get help to push me to that next level. I can't wait to show you guys my gym training once they open. Should get my mouth shut. Okay, so I'm done. Just that was hard, man. It said sprint for twin. Wow, I can't even speak. It said sprint for 10 seconds, but I pretty much doubled it. So I'll sprint for 20, and then resting for 20. I don't know. I just want to challenge myself. Feeling a lot better. Yo, good for you for taking critique so well and like acting on it so quickly, man. Honestly, real good, real good. So it was like a follow along format. So I just pressed the video, press play. It took me to the stretching, a couple of seconds of stretching. And then it took me to the sprint. And then there's a woman, she's talking real loud. <laughs> we out here in public and she's talking real loud. Uh, and she tells you what to start sprinting. She tells you when you're almost done. She tells you get ready, you're about to sprint. But that was good, that was good. Good, good job, Jerk. <sighs> Today is award meal day. I earned that sushi. I earned that sushi. <laughs> so you know it was a good workout. Real shit over here. Real shit. Look at that sweat. <laughs> For being stuck at home, getting a trainer really helped motivate me because I had goals. I felt like I had a purpose. I felt stuck for so long and it was a nice change. I was working towards something. My binge eating was under control and I felt good about my nutrition. It felt so good to enter my meals into the app and see all the gold stars congratulating me on hitting my goals. It felt so good. Me and Jarek have weekly calls where he checks in how the workouts are going, if I have any issues, and he's been more than helpful. He's willing to make changes and that makes me feel good about my program. Plus, he watches my videos so he's keeping
keeping up with my progress there. I'm still taking my daily hour and a half walk. I'm exploring the new neighborhood, finding the path. It's been so calming. For the month of July, I'll be getting in at least 20K steps a day and I'll be updating you on that progress. I'll continue to give you weekly updates on how things are going and I'll definitely update you on my blood sugar issue. If you've made it this far in the video, comment the word steps down below. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Bye.